So let's have a look at the Guardian, Lewis, and this man that has crashed at Downing Street. Well, you hate to start uh, this early in the show. Man held after car hits Downing Street gates. And, uh, I mean, it's a front-page news that a guy hit the Downing Street gates. And obviously, you can't just bump into these gates. You've got to make a left and then a right and then go straight <laughs> in. But, uh, but he hasn't been arrested. It hasn't been claimed to be terrorism. They, don't, I don't, they haven't released why he did it. And it was a, it was a Kia. A Kia was the car. <laughs> so this is, this is a little too, I, f I feel guilty, it's too early, but this is the first non-story of the night. Ding. Is this really a non-story? A man crashing into the Downing Street gates? That's a non-story? It seems quite big to <laughs> it's me. It's an automobile accident. If it was any other building, it'd be a non-story. If they say... But it wasn't. It wasn't, <laughs> though. So you're, if, so you're if it was your, that, Lewis, if it, if it was your house, would it be a, a big story? It would be a very big story <laughs> for me. But at the end of the day, as we always say, and as us English people always say, is that, uh, is that the police have not said that it's, it's a story. No, they said it's, they didn't say it was t terrorism or anything. They said he's been arrested. He was sort of tasered. Paul, there was a person on the scene saying he seemed fairly emotional. It seemed like someone going through a tough time. Yeah, well, I imagine he was. I was relieved to discover it wasn't terrorism and just a bog standard, friendly ram raid. Yeah. yeah. Because, um, you know, nothing ter terrifying about this whatsoever. Quite clearly, it was a, a deliberate act. Now, of course, I don't know uh, where you start grading terrorism. It maybe wasn't that yeah. terrifying. But at the end of the day, this guy, you can see in the footage, he took a run-up, very, very slow run-up, and drove, perhaps because it was a Kia, I don't know, nothing against Kias, I'm really sorry, really slowly into the gates. And then uh, the fastest thing to happen was the way the policeman got him out of the car and arrested him handcuffed him all in about three nanoseconds. It's good to know the police can do their job in the right circumstances. You know what I mean? When, like, they're arresting people who, who, who don't want just stop oil sitting in the road. They're very fast then, very fast on this. If it's a BLM protest, not, not quite no, as fast. No, don't worry about it. They were quite good on this one. But, yeah, I mean, I was worried for a minute this guy was a sort of nutter who'd been radicalised online by Lewis Schaefer's Twitter account. But, <laughs> yeah. as you say, it just doesn't seem to be that. So, and just briefly as well, just a quick note, the Guardian's managed to have... A uh, Brahman plan to deport 3,000 asylum seekers each month, which is really a way to miss the massive story on immigration. Like, where's the story on immigration? Oh, it's, it's this. It's, I was just yeah. very, very guarded. I did the math. That's, that's 36,000 mm. people a year. But can I just say something about the, uh, the man who hits the, uh, who hits the uh, 10 Downing Street, the gates to Downing Street uh, complex, is that uh, I'm pretty sure there was probably a woman involved and two kids that he's not allowed to see. Wow, men's rights activist Lewis Schaefer there.